Greetings, unnamed fan base. That's uh, that's the name of the community here, the unnamed fan base. And I know that can be a little bit confusing, but in my defense, so we throw on this title of the worst channel on YouTube a lot, and it's usually uh, in jest or just good, clean fun. But today, in light of some of the recent concerns about kids' content on YouTube, I wanted to talk about some videos that are clearly meant for kids that probably shouldn't exist. I think when we usually talk about kids content on YouTube, we're talking about stuff for like the youngest of children, like the YouTube kids app and animations with songs and like an educational tone, uh, at least in theory. What color do you like, my friend? Red color, red color. <laughs> what we don't usually talk about is content for kids in the middle ages. Sorry, uh, not like Papa's contracted the plague middle ages, but like preteens. There's technically a rule that you have to be at least 13 to be on regular YouTube, but it's obvious that kids will just lie about their age. Look no further than this bright side video called This Math Trick Will Guess Your Age, where the comments are just kids who were under 13 talking about how the video guessed their age wrong. You're wrong. I'm 10 years old and you said 09. Like if this happened to you. My point being there's a bunch of preteens on YouTube and as such there are people trying to ooh, just like squeeze the ad dollars out of them uh, like little sponges. There's an entire subgenre dedicated to just creeping kids out. If you just type in 3 a.m. challenge onto YouTube you see a bunch of these. Barney is haunted calling Barney on FaceTime at 3 a.m. Barney found in a play place at 3 a.m. These are some of the people who were talking about a certain unnamed challenge that I won't mention because I don't want to get demonetized like seven months ago. You can see how they're uh, going after a specific demographic. One of the worst offenders whose entire brand is creeping out kids is someone by the name of I'm J Station. If you scroll through his channel, it's just a cornucopia of upsetting content. Freddy Krueger, Mike Myers, Cookie Monster, you get the idea. There's a video here where he claims to talk to the spirit of Mac Miller, which is the most disrespectful shit on the planet. Danny Gonzalez and Cody Ko have both made videos about J Station and the whole like 3 a.m. challenge trend. But today I want to talk about a new trend. Pretending to order magic potions from the dark web. The dark web, for those who aren't familiar, is an encrypted network of websites that are inaccessible by traditional browsers and search engines. But that doesn't matter because they don't know what it is either. It's just a stand-in for a creepy internet place. But anyway, these potions that they're pretending to order are supposed to give them creepy or magical powers like shape-shifting or teleporting, uh, turning into a baby. It's not really creepy at all, actually. It's just weird. And I was planning to just talk about those videos because they're ridiculous. And then I discovered this. We kissed ordering gay potion from the dark web at 3 a.m. We've had a good run. Um, but now it's time to uninstall the internet. What we're about to watch is a pile of absolute garbage, but it's also mega homophobic because the premise of these videos is that being gay is like spooky. So I just wanted to give a little warning um, if, if that's particularly upsetting to you. Cause I don't know, maybe you'd prefer if your eyeballs weren't on fire. Oh, oh, bro, 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 you kissed me. What do you mean? I'm putting lipstick. Yo, Jay. What? Oh, oh, oh my God. Hey. Ah, ah, ah. What's up guys, back with another banger video. Wait, they're not gonna address that? <laughs> What's poppin' guys, it's your boy Jay Station and my homie here just got straight up possessed. It's. Gonna take me years to process what just happened, so remember to smash that like button. I like how it's trying to the background, it's trying to look all hard, like, yeah, yeah. We about to drink gay potion? We actually discovered there's a gay potion, guys. Some potion that if you drink will turn anybody gay for exactly one hour, guys. Let me get this straight, which is probably a quote from later in this video. You can pretend that this potion gives you any power imaginable. You could have super strength, you could uh, read minds, um, you could guarantee that your subscribers get notifications for your videos. Just me. And the most compelling thing you could think of was turning gay for one hour. I guess those other potions were out of stock? I'm a straight guy. Are you straight? I'm a straight guy. I'm not gay, bro. I'm not gay, bro. I'm real, I'm straight, bro. It annoys me how much they feel the need to remind us that they're straight, but I get it. I too went to middle school. And these guys dress like teenagers, so maybe they're just, maybe they're just misguided teens. 28? 
Wow, this is a full grown adult. So like, I don't even know what it's like to be gay. Like, honestly, guys. That is clear. I should mention that I also don't know what it's like to be gay and everyone's experiences are different. Uh, but I know, I know that it's not like what's in this video. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being gay, but I'm straight, guys. Like, I have no interest in the same sex at all, guys. There's nothing wrong with being gay, guys, but like, this entire video's premise hinges on systemic homophobia and my own one-dimensional view of what it means to be a guy. Guys. Either me or Jay Hills is drinking this gay potion, guys. This is what it looks like right here. Oh, it's in a vial. That's how you know it's potion. Look at this thing, oh my god. It's got like all these weird bubbles in it. It's purple drink. And Pretty sure that's red. Are oh, you think it's actually gonna turn me gay? Like I'm gonna fall in love with you or something? No, because it's not a love potion. Yeah guys, like if he drinks, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Don't do it, don't do it. This man is ready to drink that potion. Also, gay potion aside, this video should actually be called two men order suspicious mystery liquid from the internet and drink it without asking any questions. <laughs> now that's terrifying. Let's smash the like button right now. Let's hit 50,000 likes. There's a bunch of other dark web potions that I wanna get. There's a monster potion. There's a bunch of these potions, guys. He really wound up for that, like he was about to drop a fat list of potions and then he had one example. Let's smash that like button, guys. 50,000 likes. There's a bunch of dark web potions that I wanna get. Monster potion. Potion 2. Go check out my boy Jay Hills for risking being gay for one hour for us, guys. Risking? What's the risk? The risk is drinking an unidentified liquid from the internet. It's definitely poison. This is freaking crazy, bro. How does it smell? It smells fruity, bro. Fruity? Yeah, man. It smells like a fruit. Really? The gay potion smells like a fruit? Come on. Mmm, it smells good though. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, like fruity. Oh my god. Yeah, that smells good, bro. Hopefully wow. I, don't, I don't win though. First of all, this guy looks high out of his mind. Second, he's not doing a very good job of convincing me that he doesn't want to drink the potion. Oh my god. Yeah, that smells good, bro. Hopefully wow. I, don't, I don't win though. Wow, that smells really good. Hopefully I don't win. I'm afraid, like, dude, if I drink this, am I gonna just start making out with you bro, or something? Boy. Oh, you're back. Sorry, just doing some research. It turns out that being gay doesn't mean you just make out with whatever dude is in kissing range. I know, <laughs> I was surprised too. But hey, if you're with your bro and you guys decide you wanna make out, have at it, bros. Let's do it. So then Jay Station's friend, Jay Hills, loses at rock, paper, scissors and has to drink the gay potion. Oh, let me see you drink it. And it's downhill from there. Gargle it so we know it's there. Gargle it so we know it's there. It's like weirdly explicit for no reason. You got a girl on the camera. I'm the only person at risk, bro. I think you're gonna kiss me and stuff. At risk? <laughs> He doesn't have tuberculosis. Wait, how long did it take? Like, and this lasts only one hour? This lasts only one hour, I don't know. Why does he keep touching himself like that? You good? Yeah, I just feel like, you know, I just, okay, you know? What the f is going on? And this is where the grossly stereotypical gay impression comes in. I feel like a little bit, like a little weird vibe, you know? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, man. <laughs> I think you're joking. No, I don't... bro, I'm serious. It's yeah? Like, I have that, like, you know, like, <laughs> that weird, that weird vibe, bro. Oh, you know the weird vibe that gay people have. I don't think it's a scam. Like I feel it already a little bit. Yeah. yeah like, I don't know. Hey! And then the non-consensual touching begins. Guys, dude, you talking so crazy? What do you mean talking crazy? What accent is this? So then Jay Hills tells Jay Station a story about how his cousin is a big fan and how she wants a picture of the two of them. My little cousin, she wanted a, a picture with me and you. Yeah? She's a huge fan. Which doesn't make any sense because they're friends and of course there are already photos of the two of them, but it's a trap. You guys see me in public, I'm down to take a pic, man. You ready? Yeah, yeah, ready? yeah. Let's do it. Oh! Oh! Bro! Yo, why'd you kiss me? What do you mean? A couple things. First, he reacted like he saw a monster. To be honest, non-consensual touching is like a monster, so I'll give him a pass on that. Second, I like how he looks into the real camera instead of the phone camera because he knows he's shooting the thumbnail. Three, two, one, thumbnail. Later, J Station asked his friend to delete the photo, not because it overstepped a bound in their relationship, but because he's afraid people will think he's gay. Oh my God, bro, you cannot post that on Instagram. Really, why? I'm not kidding. Anyway, back to his reaction. Kiss me. What do you mean? Then. You don't like a kiss you didn't ask for? <laughs> I'm not talking to you then. I'm gay. This is just how we are. <laughs> then he inexplicably goes and puts on lipstick. Yo, bro, what are you doing? 
What do you mean? I'm putting lipstick. Yo, Jade. What? <laughs> So I have a lot of questions. Why did he make a beeline to the bathroom to put on lipstick? How did he know that there was lipstick in the bathroom? And finally, why is there a sarcophagus in his house? <laughs> we don't have time for all these questions because our boys have run out of antiquated gay stereotypes. So then they just start uh, using stereotypes about women. So what, you want me to make you a drink or like make you a sandwich or something? I'm oh, a sandwich. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go shopping today. I want to hit Sephora and get a bunch of makeup. What is this voice? Yeah, you want to go shopping? Yeah. But you did the secret gay handshake. And then there's the popsicle that he discovers in the kitchen, uh, which is very upsetting. Ooh, ice cream! Ice God, Jay, like this popsicle's not like satisfying me enough. It's not? No, like I need something real, you know? Okay, we're done here. Oh my God. And that brings us to the worst part of the video where Jay Hills chases Jay Station around trying to force himself on him. And uh, they just play like cartoon, like hijinks music. Oh my God, Jay, you're just so beautiful. What are you doing? You're just so beautiful. What are you doing? So then Jay Station starts running away uh, and he falls down and then Jay Hills pounces on him. And in a dramatic climax, the potion wears off. Wow. What luck. So he snaps out of it and has complete amnesia about what happened. What the hell? That's actually Bro. That's weird. Why am I on you right now? Because you were trying to kiss me. No, you were gay. You're like, I don't believe you, man. Bro, I swear to God, just wait till you see this video. Wait, oh, the gay bullshit? That's right. You got it, man. So crazy, bro. Guys, oh my God. Let's smash the like button right now, guys. Let's hit 50,000 likes for Jay turning gay. Oh my <laughs> God. Lipstick on, lipstick on my lip, bro. You hold up, hold up. Lipstick? On your lips? So where do kids come into this? Well, other than the fact that kids are the only people who would find that video compelling or real, there's two more videos in this gay potion series. And the premise of this next video is that Kermit the Frog is holding J Station's channel hostage and he has to drink the gay potion to get it back. What's up, Welcome back to another froggy video. So about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, I saw that J Station made his friend Jay Hills drink a gay potion. It yeah, what the f Okay hey guys, this is challenge number five from Kermit the Frog, guys. I've almost all completed every challenge he has. He said that after seven challenges, he will give me my channel back, guys. So Kermit sends him a box, and uh, let's just see what's in it. Oh my god, guys. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. They couldn't even get a new box. <laughs> scared. Watch out, watch out, bro. Oh my god. Look at this. Whoa. 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 They're saying whoa so much because they can't believe that Kermit the Frog wouldn't use packing peanuts. What a savage. Is that makeup? I don't know. And look at this. What? Whoa. No way. It's like a purple potion, bro. What do you think this bro, is? Bro, that looks really familiar, bro. Yeah? Bro, don't tell me that's what I think it is. What do you think it is? Is that gay potion, bro? Gay potion? Yeah, I remember I drank it. Oh my god, bro. Oh my I gotta say, this looks nothing like the first potion, so the fact that he recognizes it on site is, is a little suspicious. Guys, I'm really scared, okay? I'm not really gay, so if this is a gay potion, I'm freaking scared, guys. I'm a straight guy. Are you straight? Whoa, Whoa. it smells fruity, it smells bro. Fruity? Smell this. Mmm, that brings back is memories, that gay bro. Potion? Did he just say, mmm, brings back memories? <laughs> Isn't that a phrase you use when you're like fondly remembering something? But, but Jay, Jay, before you turn gay, bro, just do not come near me, okay? No? That's all I'm asking, bro. I know I'm filming the video like two feet away from you, but don't come near me. Three, two, one. Then Jay Station drinks the potion. Oh my God, oh my God. And exactly the same things happen as in the previous video. I think it's time to kick in though. <laughs> It is. Did you feel like this? Yeah, bro. Do not come near me, bro. Looks like he's salsa dancing with a ghost. I'm gonna look like such a pretty girl. Then he just puts the makeup on while doing his best James Charles impression. But I'm sick, sister. <laughs> These tattoos are giving Adam Levine a run for his money. You're making me laugh. Bro. You're such a cutie. Okay, chill out with the compliments. Jake, relax, on. bro. Relax. Yo, chill with the compliments, bro. <laughs> I don't want my ego getting too big, bro. You know, I, we talked about this. <laughs> the most pretty color that I could wear. I know, I feel like, whoa, what are you doing? It's a brush, bro, relax. You already know, Jay. Okay. Why do they keep sucking on stuff? 
Is it working? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I'm not gonna lie, some of the moments they have together are pretty cute. I gotta add like a, I gotta add some nice design at the end. They unfortunately have to put gay people down in their ruinous quest for clout, but you can tell that they clearly enjoy playing pretend with each other. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to punish you. I might have to spank you. Never mind. Well, I don't know, but I don't wanna hurt you. Pain is beauty, sister. Pain is beauty. I think he means beauty is pain. Pain is beauty is the third studio album from American singer songwriter Chelsea Wolf. Come on, Jay. It's not that hard. Okay. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So after Jay Station's self-imposed makeover, he asks uh, his friend Jay Hills for a selfie. Come yeah. on, just take a little selfie with me. All right, I got you. All right, all right. So, say but once again, it's a trap. He gonna kiss him. Say cheese. 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 Oh! Hey! <laughs> Jay Hills went super saiyan. <laughs> He acts surprised, but they're taking a selfie. He can see it in the viewfinder. Whoa. I remember last time you were trying to kiss me. I know, okay, well, I want to I kiss know you. deep down you want it. Then, as is the way of the gay potion, Jay Station backs Jay Hills in a corner. No, I don't want it! I don't want it! Uh, and it's extremely uncomfortable. Ooh, I got you in the corner. <laughs> no! Come here! No! Oh, yeah. You can clearly see his arm still like just holding the camera in place. No, no, don't do that. And then right at that moment, once again, the spell breaks. Whoa, what? Oh. Did you do this to me? No, no, Kermit the Frog oh. gave it to you. Kermit? Yeah, Kermit gave oh me the gay God. potions. Oh. Sorry, it's not coming off. It's not coming off. Oh my God, you'd be what gay do I do? Be gay forever. Oh. I like how he thinks he's gonna be gay forever because he doesn't know about makeup remover. It can come off and I'm gonna go out in public like this. Like these nails won't come off either. Oh my God, bro, that's insane. Guys, smash the like button right now. We gotta get 100,000 for this. This was insane. Even in distress. Guys, guys, go ahead and smash that like button right now. Let's get to 100,000 likes, one for each tier. The final video in the Gay Potion Trilogy is called We Made Out, making Kermit the Frog drink the gay potion. Which, are they allowed to use Kermit like this? <laughs> Today we are making Kermit the Frog drink the gay potion. This video is exactly like the other ones, except it also ruined my childhood. You're like touching myself. You're really sexy right now. It's not clear if Jay and Kermit are friends or enemies because they seem to like each other, but then Jay will say stuff like, well, what if I don't want to do it? You got it, Kermit. You're gonna cut me open if I don't do it? I'm definitely gonna cut you open, okay? Okay, fine, I'll do it. That's a good frog. I'm gonna murder you in cold blood if you don't drink the gay potion. I don't really have a choice. That's a good boy. So after Kermit drinks the gay potion, he agrees to leave Jay Station alone forever. Ever, as long as he makes out with him for 30 seconds. And Jay Station agrees. He agrees to kiss a puppet, sensually, while Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On plays in the background. Two, one. Uh, sorry, unfortunately, I, I won't be able to finish this video because I just set my computer on fire. This video was super crazy, guys, super embarrassing. Why are we yelling? The video ends with, and I'm not making this up, a remix of Alex Jones' Turn the Frogs gay quote, which is the only self-aware moment in the entire series. They turn the friggin' frogs gay. The comments on these videos really illuminate the problem because the only people leaving comments are people who are disgusted with Jay Station and children. That's probably Jay's scariest experience so far. I literally spit out my water, but also offended because it's homophobic. Is Hermit the Frog real? I hope you get your channel back. This is so realistic that it's kind of scary. I think he might be gay. Holy freaking crap morsels. That was disgusting. Okay, so right as I was wrapping up this video, I noticed that uh, Jay Station's friend from the videos, Jay Hills, posted a video to his, his own channel called, uh, I mixed the baby and gay potion from the dark web and used it on I'm Jay Station, insane. And I didn't want to watch it. But we all make sacrifices in life. Oh my god, guys, oh my god, look, this is what gay babies are. Instant regret. What up, guys, it's Jay Hills back on the screen with another banger video. Before this video starts, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below what you want to see next, and please hit that subscribe button. Is he in a rush? Also, why is his tongue blue? It's all that potion. I'm mixing the two most craziest potion yet. I'm mixing the baby potion and the gay potion together, guys. Imagine a gay baby. Like, I actually have no idea how that's gonna work. I do not know what, what a gay baby is like. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna cancel my plans for the day. 
so that I can lie down. Also, this man has five mid-roll ads on a 10 minute video. I didn't even know that was allowed. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have, I have one ad in this video. <laughs> I should really put more ads in these videos. <laughs> I understand that these videos are meant to be entertaining and that it's all in good fun, but if it's at the expense of a marginalized group, Maybe just don't, especially if it comes off as a clear money grab to fill your house with more sarcophagi. Also, for all those false copyright claims out there, this is what copyright claims are for. I, I'm sure gay potions are not how Jim Henson imagined his legacy. I think that shit like this happens when you mix like clout chasing uh, with ignorance, which when multiplied by internet, can cause real pain for people. This made me realize how lucky I've been to be surrounded by people from diverse backgrounds and identities. And I wanted to share the love a bit, so here's the bright side that's supposed to make you feel uh, a little bit better about the world. There's a lot of media these days uh, with nuanced depictions of LGBTQ plus people, which usually means there's regular people and it's not like a, like a spooky challenge to identify with them. This isn't like a major one by any means, but it just happens to be one of my favorites, The Bright Sessions. It's a fiction podcast. And it tells the story of these people with superpowers processing their emotions through therapy. It's kind of dope. There's also great YouTubers across the spectrum of content that don't have to pretend to be queer, like Jackson Bird, It's Radish Time, Asante B, Rowan Ellis. This isn't like a political statement. It's not a like SJW thing. I'm just in favor of anything that makes kids or adults feel less alone. I don't know. It's just this weird thing about me. Thanks to Zoe or Glass Ceiling on Instagram. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. If you want me to butcher your name, do the stuff. You know what it is. Oh, uh, and one more thing. I'm gonna cut off the end of the